This nondescript storefront behind me is NNK Design and Cabinetry, and they made the pivot to making plexiglass barriers mainly as a way to generate some extra income during the pandemic and help other local businesses reopen. It took off faster than they ever could have imagined, and now, while many businesses are struggling, they're expanding. Right before this, this whole pandemic hit, we had just gotten to a point where everything was just humming. Plenty of work. Uh, in the queue, everything was lined up, jobs going, and then we got slapped down. Like many small businesses, Peter Comito's custom cabinetry company began working to survive. When a few weeks ago, his wife asked him a key question. Had he ever worked with plexiglass or acrylic? As a matter of fact, he had, specifically because he was located in the Hasidic community of Borough Park. One of the things that, that's part of the niche business of, of mine was uh, in this community here is uh, Passover countertops, Pesach countertops, which I've been making out of quarter inch thick acrylic for years. So Comito designed this tabletop shield concept for a nail salon, then put it on a poster and shared it on Facebook. It took off quick. I mean, it, it's been basically overnight. This is the dinky little flyer that came about all of this. That's it. That was, that was our initial marketing, and it just took off from that. We get calls dozen calls a day now. As reopening slowly ramps up, they've been asked to make barriers and dividers of all shapes and sizes. And Peter brought in his daughter, Nicole, to help. He does everything among the lines of commercial, residential, design build, healthcare, um, school. Anything, any industry, any segment. Now there are bigger government contracts in the works, plans to increase the number of employees from three to nine, and they're seeking a new, bigger manufacturing space. Comito's advice to other entrepreneurs during this difficult time? You gotta be hungry. You gotta make your own luck. You have to find, you have to think about what you do and how you can apply it to the conditions that we're in now and come up with ways that we're going to be much, much stronger coming out of this and doing it in a way that's going to help the people around us. around us. One more thing, all the supplies to make those acrylic barriers made right here in the United States. Many of the products sourced specifically in the tri-state area. In Borough Park, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.